Suthly, in that time, Israel dwelled in Shittim, and the people did fornication with the daughters of Moab, which daughters called them to their sacrifices, and they ate and worshipped the gods of those daughters. And Israel made sacrifice to Baal Peor, and the Lord was wroth, and said to Moses, Take thou all the princes of the people, and hang them against the sun in gibbets, that in my strong vengeance, that my strong vengeance be turned away from Israel. And Moses said to the judges of Israel, Each man slay his neighbors that made sacrifice to Baal Peor. And lo, one of the sons of Israel entered before his brethren to an whore of Midian in the sight of Moses and of all the company of the sons of Israel, which went before the gates of the tabernacle. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, had seen this unshame, unshamefest doing, he rose from the midst of the multitude when he had taken a sword, he entered after the man of Israel into the whorehouse and stick through both together, that is, the man and the woman, in the places of engendering. And the vengeance ceased from the sons of Israel. And four and twenty thousand of men were slain. And the Lord said to Moses, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, son of Aaron, priest, have turned away my wrath from the sons of Israel, for he was moved against them by my fervent love, that... I myself not do away the sons of Israel in my great ferventness of vengeance. Therefore speak thou to him. Lo, I give to him the peace of my covenant, and it shall be an everlasting covenant of priesthood as well to himself as to the seed. For he, for, for he loved fervently for his God, and he hath cleansed the great trespass of the sons of Israel. For Suth, the name of the man of Israel that was slain with the woman of Midian, was Zimri, the son of Salu, duke of the kindred and lineage of Simeon. Suthly, the woman of Midian that was slain together with the whoreling was called Cosby, the daughter of Zer, the noblest princes of Midian, the noblest prince of, the, of Midianites. And the Lord spake to Moses and said, Midianites feel you enemies and smite you them, for also they have done enemy-like against you and deceived you by treasons by the idol of Peor, and by their sister Cosby, daughter of the Duke of Midian, which daughter was slain in the day of vengeance for the sacrilege of Peor.